message is for all the Imo state indigents. Ndi Imo state nini, especially the ones that came out on the 9th of March 2019 to vote for the candidate of their choice. I want to apologize to our daddies and mommies that came under the hot blazing sun to vote for Ihe Dionha, not knowing that after voting, some greedy, incompetent, and selfish men in Abuja decides their fate. It is quite unfortunate. I'm sorry, my beloved mommies and daddies. Indeed, the country is an animal kingdom. It's a zoo. And what is the last thing I will do today? The everlasting I will do is to encourage anybody that is, ex is existing in this condemnation called Nigeria to go out to vote anymore. That is the last thing I will tell anybody. I will even encourage you to sit back at home. And this is for you that is justifying what happens in Imo State. You are seated right now, staring at me in the face, smiling and laughing. You are so happy and excited because according to you, Hopo Zodema is now the governor of Imo State and you like it. I don't have any problem in your opinions. I don't have any problem in your choices. We have different opinions. I would not impose my ideas on you. But wait. When you say that you like the fact that Hobo Zodema emerged as the governor of Imo State, I want to understand what you mean. You're trying to say that you are clapping for injustice. You are happy that your fellow man was ridiculed in such manner. That the man that came fourth position metamorphosed into first position and you're not concerned. The same thing that happened to Emeki Hedjoha will come to your doorstep. Mark it. Karma works faster than Juju. Write it in your book that I said it on this particular day. The same thing that you wish for that man will come to you in a way you don't imagine. This is not about politics. Some people say, it's politics. Leave it like that. No, you don't toil around with people's emotion. People came out to vote. They indeed needed in Hedjoha. And you came out to say that it is no longer in Hedjoha. That is hope, Uzodema, and my fellow human being that has blood flowing through their veins. They are clapping. Useless set of men. Look at them. Look at their write-up. Look at their timeline on Facebook. They are justifying evil that happened. The same evil will come to you. The same injustice will knock at your door. Go and write it that I said it. I am not the one that created the law of karma. But I know that karma is a bitch. But let me also go to the Bible to tell you what happens to the wicked. Because you that is supporting the evil that happened. You are worse than a Lucifer. You are worse than a demon. You are satanic in nature. If you are a Christian and you support what happened in Imo State, I will encourage you to go and drop your Bible. You don't deserve to be a Christian. You don't deserve to be going to church. And you are a pastor and you are supporting what happened in Imo State. Believe me, you don't have nothing to do coming in the presence of God. Because you are evil, you are satanic, and you are demonic in nature. But let me take you to the Bible. Let's make a reference in the scripture. Proverbs chapter 17 verse 15. Let me tell you what Bible said will happen to the wicked man. Listen, these are the things that happens to them. He who justifies the wicked and he who condemns the righteous, both of them alike are an abomination to the Lord. Job chapter 34 verse 26. He strikes them like the wicked in a public place. Isaiah chapter 3 verse 11. Woe to the wicked, it will go badly with him. For what he deserves will be done to him. That is exactly what the scripture said. And I know the word of God. God cannot be mocked. God cannot be mocked. And you are so comfortable, you like it. You are smiling. That is the same injustice that will come to you. And this is for the Imo House of Assembly members. I watched the video where they were passing a vote of confidence in the house of assembly and these are the same men that came under the umbrella of pdp mind you i am not supporting any political party but i am against injustice because i've got a lot of integrity i hate it when something like this happened to a fellow man 
No, God despises injustice. The, the, the shameless, honorable members, there is nothing honorable about them. Please tell them that I said they should remove honorable from their name. You people said that. Let us bring young leaders. Those honorable members in Imo State are very young and vibrant. Young men. Go and watch the video. But look at them speaking from the other side of their mouth because they gave you money. And all of a sudden, all of a sudden, you started truncating the truth. Karma will visit all of you. Shameless, honorable members in Imo State. These are the things that decide your fate. These are the people that make love for you in the land. And they will still come out in their constituents and tell you that I have something good to offer. Now, when you say Nigeria is a zoo, remove everything in this country. It will just remain a, a, as an empty space. It is the animals that make up a zoo. And these people are animals. Look at them speaking. Men without integrity. Shameless men that call themselves honorable members. I watched them and I, I, I don't know. I was astonished. I never believed that a human being, even some, I saw them, they voted under the umbrella of AP, uh, sorry, PDP. And they came out speaking against this man. I am scared of an evil man in politics. I'm telling you the truth. Tell them that I said they should remove honorable for their name, from that their name. Illiterate, illiteracy, hungry looking honorable members, stomach infrastructure honorable members. You are interested in what happens to your stomach and you're not interested in the people that voted for the man that you also won under his platform. Nonsense. Nigeria is good as a, a dead kingdom, perished kingdom. And now this is for Hopu Zodima. Now the governor of Imo State. Hobo Zodima, it is not up to two months you were given the post of Fihe Joha to become the governor of Imo State. And what did you do? The first gift you gave to Imo Light is by introducing Fulani Hesmen to them, giving them Emir of Kanu. I am not telling you that I have anything against Hausa man or whatever, but I am against Hausa Fulani people that are killing our brothers and sisters on a daily basis. Nobody will tell me that he doesn't know about the the frequent killing. Every day when you wake up, you hear 50 killed, 100 killed. Fulani husband just butchered 100 people in the farm. They butchered 50. They killed our mothers. They raped our sisters. And the gift you brought for Imo people is to introduce emirs. To tell them that they will give, you will give them electricity. Make them comfortable. Give them life. Give them basic amenities. And you expect me to clap for you. You expect me to be happy. Don't you know that the sight of a house someone already scares everybody around? Don't you understand that the same people that are killing, bombing people, slaughtering people like animals, are being invited in Imo State? What do you expect them to do? To start clapping? To start smiling? These are the people that raped our sisters in the farm? The same people that are killing our mothers? And you say you want to give them time, opportunity to explore. Of what economic, what economic importance would their presence bring in Imo State? Now I want to ask indeed whether they are living in the north. Sokoto State, Kanu State, Jigawa. Let me use Kanu State as a yastic because that was where I was born. Ndiwo in Kanu State. Has there been a time a governor of Kanu State, Ganduje, the present governor, Kwankwaso, the past go governor, Shekaru, the past governor, has there been a time you were invited as an Ezendi in Kano or Sokoto or Jigawa and you were told that you will be given land, that you will be given electricity, that you are one of them? Have you people received such welcome reception from Hausa governors before? Please, I need answers to this. If, an, if a Hausa man goes to, if a Hausa man goes to, a city, the city turns to forest. If an evil man goes to the north, that same north, that is forest, will turn into a city. That is why you hear that Kanu State is one of the commercial cities. Lagos State, the same thing. It's an evil man's duty to ensure 
that a bush is developed into a city. Now, Igbo people even in the north are not welcomed. They cannot be given such reception. But they have someone that will turn your city, that will turn your city into forest, are being welcomed in the state by our humble governor. How someone that will turn a wonderful city into a graveyard have been given warm reception. And Igbo people, Igbo people are treated like third class in the north. And you are seated justifying the same act. Like I said, karma is a bitch. Karma will strike. Karma will knock. It will not mercy anybody. Let's watch and see how it unfolds. Thank you for watching. Thank you for listening.